which of the following inequalities indicates the set of all values of D for which the lengths of the three sides of a triangle can be three, four, and D. So how do you do that? So the rule that they are testing here is that the, uh, the sum of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the third side. So what that means for D here is D has got to be less than seven and D has got to be greater than one. But let's, uh, now let's sort of work backwards here. How did we get that? Because so say we have a triangle and uh, our sides are three, four, and D. So what does this mean? This means uh, this side here plus this side here must be uh, greater than the length of this side here. So uh, seven must be greater than D or D must be less than seven. Uh, it also means that this side here plus this side here uh, must be greater than this side here. So that means three plus D uh, must be greater than four. D must be greater than one. Uh, it also means uh, this side here plus this side here must be greater than this side here. So D plus four must be greater than three which means D must be greater than negative one. So technically this is true as well. Uh, so let's think about what this means. So now if we say D, okay, so D has got to be greater than one and it's got to be greater than negative one. Well, if D is greater than one and greater than negative one, that's really just the same as saying D has got to be greater than one. Uh, and here D has got to be less than seven. And that's how we get to here. Uh, 